Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. I want to be a billionaire. You guys know the song, right? Everybody knows the song. I was reading a great article this weekend and I made me just uh, remember that uh, what are the trends going on in the world right now for the billionaires and how is this going to help you, me, any of us to accumulate wealth? Even if you don't want to be a billionaire, you don't care. Just in general, how is the world's wealth moving? And I want to talk to you about uh, a really interesting article that came out. Ages 20 richest families uh, that are controlling $463 billion, And also give you a trend as to what's going on in the world's billionaires, what sectors they're in, etc. And at the very end, give you my advice on the trends and patterns I'm seeing that maybe will help you uh, make money, more uh, wealth in the future. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street guy, former hedge fund guy. I just started YouTube this year. Would appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel and follow me going forward currently right now the time is 12 46 p.m november the 30th in japan at tokyo time so let's get started first off let's talk about um you know this article that came out because it's so interesting it's so it's so interesting i think just to see where uh wealth is moving especially in asia asia is right now the booming large part of the world right now india and china two very large economies two largest populations they're amassing tons of wealth but other parts of asia as well are moving up including japan and let's talk about some of the families here that are amassing some wealth so looking here we can see here uh ages 20 richest families control 463 billion and believe it or not going through the rankings here number one by far the huge amount 76 billion dollars is the ambani family three generations from india reliance industries now this is the largest uh conglomerate of uh basically uh oil refining complex so they basically are in the energy sector a very famous 76 billion note that they are more than twice the number two so this is the most powerful family by wealth in india at the moment uh now going on to number two see the kwok family from hong kong three generations shanghai properties there in real estate at 33 billion number three uh uh, Thailand is the uh, Cheravanant uh, family. Uh, again, they could four generations at 31.7 billion. Uh, and again, we're seeing here that they are involved in a conglomerate with food, retail, and telecom here. So a lot of different sectors. Going on to number four, Indonesia is the uh, Hartono family uh, from uh, basically three generations and two two really main big investments here. The Jaram, the uh, cigarette company, and then Bank of Central Asia, which is now their main uh, focus at the moment. They have $31.3 billion. Uh, now going on to number five, we see Samsung from South Korea. Yeah. Three generations, the Lee family, very, very famous here, 26.6 billion. Of course, Samsung is the world's largest maker of memory chips and smartphones. Everybody knows. However, after the uh, chairman uh, died in October 2020, uh, we're seeing that there may, they may have about 10 billion inheritance taxes that they have to pay after Lee Kuan He has passed away. Still uh, unknown, but still that'll put them in the top 20. Even if they lose 10, they'll be at 16.6 billion. Moving on again, Thailand. I'm actually surprised as to how much we see in Thailand. Thailand here. Thailand again coming up here. Two generations. TCP Group, the Yovidia family, uh, established originally to sell pharmaceuticals and medication. Uh, but then really he barely became famous for establishing what's known as the Red Bull drink. Uh, originally it was called Krating Daeng. But yes, it originally it started from Thailand. And they uh, partnered together with the Austrian marketer, uh, Dierz Martinez, and discovered the drink. Uh, and now basically these two families have gone, you know, amassed a huge amount of wealth on this drink right Red Bull. And yes, I have drank Red Bull before. I think everybody probably has drunk Red Bull before. It's a crazy drink. And yes, it was invented in Thailand. Unbelievable, right? Let's move on to the list here because this is so interesting. Uh, moving on here, we see uh, number seven here is the uh, Chong family from Hong Kong, Chai Tao Fook. Uh, four generations actually and this is in the jewelry business so again i thought this was interesting here moving on let's keep going because there's 20 uh india again five generations that's one of the largest here the mystery family uh again the mystery family founded in india in 1865 wow started with a construction enterprise with an englishman uh, now also have they have shares in tata sons the main holding company behind tata group of course operates more than 100 companies and employs 720,000 people. Uh, so, to sever ties to the group, uh, Palonji Ministry has sought to swap his Tata Sun stake value to $24 billion uh, for shares in the conglomerate. So, basically, he massed a lot of his wealth through Tata Sons at the moment, but uh, really started in engineering and constructions. 
Now moving on to uh, number nine here again, Hong Kong, the Powell Wu family, three generations, uh, valued at 20 billion. Uh, company accumulated about 20, 200 vessels in 1979, managing the world's largest independently owned bulk shipping fleet. Uh, and then they diversified into real estate uh, from the ship sales. So now it's, it's really real estate is, uh, that has created the company here. Uh, number 10, Philippines here, the C family from three generations, SM Investments. Uh, originally, uh, they were in the rice, sardines, and soap business uh, from a tiny downtown shop in Manila and now has grown into a conglomerate with interest in retail, banking, and property. So I think we're starting to see some trends here, as you guys can probably see. Number 11, Taiwan, a Cathay Financial, Fubon Financial, Sai family, three generations. Of course, this is in the financial uh, and insurance business. Number 12, again, Hong Kong. Hong Kong has a lot of billionaires here in Asia. The Lee family, uh, five generations here. That's a lot, $17 billion. Uh, originally founded the Oyster Sauce, uh, and then it became a third generation member, consolidated its group into buying. Uh, then, then health supplements, uh, manufacturing and sell of herbal products, etc. Uh, now owns a lot of real estate assets, including the Walkie Talkie Tower in London. So a lot of his new wealth now is actually in real estate, but it started in other businesses as well. Number three is the Singapore Malaysia Quick uh, Quick family. Uh, this is actually quite a famous family, Hong Long Group. Uh, again, they are focused more only in the real estate sector as well. Uh, range from property development, and hospitality to finance. They also have hospitality and finance. Uh, then number four, finally we see Japan. Number fourteen, uh, four generations. The Tori Saji, the Suntory business, very famous. Anybody who's ever drank uh, whiskey here in Japan knows of the Suntory business, very famous business here. Uh, number 15, again, Hong Kong, the Kaudori business at 14, CLP Holdings. Uh, again, this is an um, electricity supplier uh, group. That, no, 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 mass stakes in ban banking, real estate, and power generation. So we can see here power, real estate, banking as well. Number 16, the Hinduja business, uh, Hinduja family, India, again, four generations here. Uh, we see here that uh, this business currently has businesses in energy, automotive, finance, and healthcare. Uh, number 17, Hong Kong, the whole bit, whole, uh, whole clan. Uh, they have uh, two generations here. SJ, SJM is the company, owns casinos and hotels in Macau. Uh, number 18, South Korea, the Chung business. So they obviously say Hyundai. Hyundai here. Uh, he died in blah, 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 result in separation. Hyundai Motor is basically how they started their business. One of the largest car manufacturers in the world. Number 19, Singapore Far East organization. Uh, we're seeing here that uh, now his eldest son. Uh, do, 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 Far East organization. Property development, so it's mainly again in the real estate sector. Uh, number twenty here, uh, see four generations in Thailand, the Center Group, uh, da, 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 uh, Center Group, or largest private commercial conglomerates, fifty subsidiaries, uh, from the beginning family shop, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Central Group. I believe this is now into the. Ooh, ooh, I thought this is finance and real estate. It's not really listed here. It's not very clear. So guys, listening to all this, I think that you guys can probably see see a trend on your own. Uh, that's quite come clear. Uh, there's a lot of people in Asia who have got amassed a ton of wealth over the last few generations. And it's a lot of it is in real estate, banking, finance. We could see it right away. It's a very clear trend. Of course, there's some other stuff like power, energy. I think commodities is another trend here. Uh, now, the other light like, trend you know is that none of the, none of these uh, multi-billion dollar families are more than five generations. So five generations is a long time. There's just one, but almost all of them are between two to four generations. So two to four generations, that's not a huge amount of time. Each generation is roughly 30 years or so. So two to three, two to four. It's say maybe last over the last 100 years or so is when this has all happened. So those are the two big takeaways that I can take from looking at all this. Now, let's also look at some other billionaire uh, industry data all over the world here because this is really interesting world map of billionaires here according to 2020 we see here north america us has the most at 614 people and then age china actually has number two at 388 of course we have germany at 107 russia at around 99 and then hong kong has a massive amount 67 even for such a small place japan unfortunately only has about 26 uh but it's still more than some of these other countries we can see like philippines indonesia etc etc so we're seeing here latin america has a small amount africa africa still has a very small Small amount the majority of wealth is coming from you know north asia uh some parts of or europe such as germany france and the united states here so these are some important takeaways some other takeaways good i want to show you guys i was going to show until the very end is forbes list of billionaires according to industry by far the biggest one is 
finance and investments 14 percent of total then actually after that fashion and retail which is really interesting especially europe has a very large list of this then we see retail real estate manufacturing technology etc um last but not least uh i just wanted to show you know for uh those of you new to this channel and the, maybe those of you who are uh, aspiring to be billionaires i want to give you my two cents on what i think about all this and how i think that this is going to help uh you make money going forward because guys look in my opinion it's great to have a dream to be a billionaire there's a lot of people who kind of push people back i mean I, i've seen this all over the world why do you need a billion dollars it's not about you needing a billion dollars it's about accomplishing a dream i think becoming a billionaire is not about making a lot of money it's not about being wealthy it's not about bragging it's about creating something big uh unless you, you know i'm talking about becoming a self-made billionaire not inheriting a billion dollars so that's a very different story um I think it's, it's it's a wonderful idea, and I'm a bit worried about Japan just being in Japan here for the now last about one year or so. Uh, it's a bit of a pushback on people who are rising. Uh, it's not a rising star culture. This is a stay together with the group culture. But unfortunately, I think that that's a negative for the culture, especially business wise, because you need to propel people to be able to move up in the group if they want to move up and i mean when i say move up i just mean by financially i'm not saying that they're ahead or they're above anybody just if somebody wants to aspire to be a billionaire society and the government should uh support that person or that family or that group or etc uh because they could create something new and they create new industries this creates new jobs this creates new sectors it pushes the overall economy so uh yes of course this can come from the government but, but the government's not always very efficient and it's led by politicians it's not led by businessmen so if you want to propel the economy you have to be able to support the business sector and i think especially support the younger business sector in japan to make sure that they if, if they want to aspire to be somebody very wealthy create a new industry then of course support them because it's overall good for the economy it's good for you it's good for me and okay last but not least guys how is this really relevant to your portfolio even if you don't want to be a billionaire guys you saw very clearly the statistics we were going around here that by far the forbes world's list billionaires according to even 2018 the biggest is in finance and investments that's the sector here not just that but we saw in the list here tons and tons and tons of this a majority the biggest by far we saw from asia it was finance real estate by far so this goes to shows that this is over the last 100 years maybe last three generations so it's where a lot of wealth is accumulated it's where maybe you should focus a little bit of your time on no matter what job you have no matter what your aspirations are everybody has to deal with money at the end of the day but noting that finance and real estate is very important so learn how to invest that's going to be your finance bar that's what i'm here for that's why i started youtube i want the overall culture not just in japan but the rest of the world to be able to accumulate wealth i think it's good for our generation i'm generally i'm worried about our generation because governments around the world have a ton of debt and it's going to fall on our shoulders all over the world uh also real estate real estate unfortunately japan has had sort of a sideways real estate for the last 30 years and it's it's, it's a big reason why the economy has been faltering is because when you have land prices going up it's not even if you're not an investing genius it's it's a very unstressful way for everybody to make money whether you're a business tycoon or you're just a normal person uh, with an apartment if the value of your home goes up you're living in your home human beings need to live in a home this is an easy way to accumulate wealth and if the value of your home goes up while you're working you have easily enough uh, maybe enough money for retirement if you can sell your home so this is something that really japan is lagging this is really something that the you know why inflation is so important to have in japan just because your costs aren't going up guys if you have problems retire it's because real estate's not going up here and people don't buy as many my homes here so that's really something that i want to take home in japan is that hopefully we can get inflation going which would help real estate go up which is going to help you make money but also overall even if you're not involved in japan even if you're not involved in real estate guys overall get involved in finance it is a way for you to accumulate money you can see the statistics here that's where a lot of people have made wealth over the last 
few generations. Thanks, guys, for watching my video. Hopefully, you found this a little bit useful. If you did, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, please do press the like button below. Coming up, guys, I'm going to be doing videos today on uh, the dollars getting smashed. Also, China, a lot of stuff going on about how the world is becoming more reliant on the exports. And finally, the topics is going to be passing 1800 very, very soon, I think. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks again. See you guys soon.